Hello, and welcome to our time of worship on this Palm Passion Sunday. My name is Heidi Wachowiak. I'm the senior pastor here at St. Paul's Evangelical Lutheran Church, Ellerslie, in Edmonton. We're glad you've joined us. Today, helping with the service are Marissa as our worship assistant, Cody and Tammy as some of our readers, Heather and Alex on percussion, and Amanda, Lindsay, and George for providing our hymns and songs. Tammy continues on the behind the scenes editing and recording jobs. If you didn't receive the bulletin via email, you can find it on our website under the newsletter bulletin tab. We are going to celebrate Holy Communion, so if you'd like to join in, please have some bread and wine or elements that resemble that with you for your time of worship. Everybody's welcome at our Lord's table. If you have the palm leaf that was emailed to you, you might want to get it as we begin our time of worship. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. Three times. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. The Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. When they were approaching Jerusalem at Bethpage and Bethany near the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Just say this, The Lord needs it and will send it back here immediately. They went away and found a colt tied near a door outside in the street. As they were untying it, some of the bystanders said to them, What are you doing untying the colt? They told them what Jesus had said, and they allowed them to take it. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks on it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut in the fields. Then those who went ahead and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Then he entered Jerusalem and went into the temple. And when he had looked around at everything, as it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Please hold your palms as we bless them. The Lord be with you. And, and also, also with, with you. you. Let us pray. We praise you, O God, for redeeming the world through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Today he entered the holy city in triumph and was proclaimed Messiah and King by those who spread garments and branches along his way. Bless these branches and those who carry them. Grant us grace to follow our Lord in the way of the cross, so that joined to his death and resurrection, we enter into life with you, through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And let's wave the branches as we begin the procession. Let us go forth in peace. In the, in the name, name of, of Christ, Christ. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Sovereign God, you have established your rule over the human heart, not by force, but by the servant example of Jesus Christ. Move us by your Spirit to join the joyful procession of those who confess Christ Jesus with their tongues and praise him with their lives. Amen. Amen. I found a lovely surprise in my email inbox the other day from Bradley Moga. He's the musician from my previous congregation where I served in Cambridge, Ontario. He wrote a new tune for an old hymn called Jesus Keep Me Near the Cross. He named the tune Wahoviak as a way to let me know that I continue to be in the thoughts and prayers of the people of St. Peter's in Cambridge. Bradley Moga is the one who performs this piece. Jesus, keep me near the cross, there's a precious fountain, free to all a healing stream of flows from Calvary's mountain, in the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever, till my ransomed soul shall fall. Rest beyond the heaven. Near the cross, a trembling soul, love and mercy found me. There, the bright and morning star shed its beams around me in the cross in the cross be my glory ever till my ransomed soul shall find rest beyond the Trusting heaven till 
I reach the golden strand just beyond the river. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever, till my ransomed soul shall find rest beyond the The Passion of Our Lord, Jesus Christ, according to Mark. It was two days before the Passover and the festival of unleavened bread. The chief priests and the scribes were looking for a way to arrest Jesus by stealth and kill him. For they said, not during the festival, or there may be a riot among the people. Then Judas Iscariot, who was one of the twelve, went to the chief priests in order to betray Jesus to them. When they heard it, they were greatly pleased and promised to give him money. So Jesus began, Judas began to look for an opportunity to betray Jesus. On the first day of unleavened bread, when the Passover lamb is sacrificed, at evening Jesus came with the twelve. And when they had taken their places and were eating, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me, the one who is eating with me. They began to be distressed and to say to him, one after another, Surely not I. Jesus said to them, It is one of the twelve, one who is dipping bread into the bowl with me. For the Son of Man goes as it is written of him, but woe to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one to not have been born. <laughs> While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to them, and said, Take, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, and all of them drank from it. Jesus said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly I tell you, I will never again drink of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. When they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. And Jesus said to them, You will all become deserters, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. But after I am raised, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Even though all become deserters, I will not. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this day, this very night, before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. But Peter said vehemently, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And all of them said the same. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter and James and John, and began to be stressed, distressed and agitated. And Jesus said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little farther, he drew himself on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, 
but what you want. Jesus came and found them sleeping, and he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep awake one hour? Keep awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away and prayed, saying the same words. And once more he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were very heavy, and they did not know what to say to him. Jesus came a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Enough! The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Immediately, while Jesus was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. And with him there was a crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when he came, he went up to Jesus at once and said, Rabbi, and kissed him. Then they laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. But one of those who stood near drew his sword and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to them, Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as though I were a bandit? Day after day I was with you in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me, but let the scriptures be fulfilled. deserted him and fled. A certain young man was following him, wearing nothing but a linen cloth. They caught hold of him, but he left the linen cloth and ran off naked. They took Jesus to the high priest and all the chief priests. The elders and the scribes were assembled. Peter had followed him at a distance, right into the courtyard of the high priest, and he was sitting with the guards, warming himself at the fire. Now the chief priests and the whole council were looking for testimony against Jesus to put him to death, but they found none. For many gave false testimony against him, and their testimony did not agree. Some stood up and gave false testimony against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and in three days I will build another not made with hands. But even on this point, their testimony did not agree. Then the high priest stood up before them and asked Jesus, Have you no answer? What is it that they testify against you? But he was silent and did not answer. Again, the high priest asked him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? Jesus said, I am. And you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, Why do we still need witnesses? You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? All of them condemned him as deserving death. Some began to spit on him, to blindfold him, and to strike him, saying to him, Prophesy! The guards also took him over and beat him.
while Peter was below in the courtyard. One of the servant girls of the high priest came by. When she saw Peter warming himself, she stared at him and said, You also were with Jesus, the man from Nazareth. But Peter denied it, saying, I do not know or understand what you're talking about. And he went out into the fort court. Then the cock crowed. And the servant girl, on seeing him, began again to say to the bystanders, This man is one of them. But again he denied it. Then after a little while the bystanders again said to Peter, Certainly you are one of them, for you are a Galilean. But he began to curse, and he swore an oath. I do not know this man you are talking about. At that moment the cock crowed for the second time. Then Peter remembered that Jesus had said to him, Before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. And he broke down and wept. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? He answered him, You say so. Then the chief priests accused him of many things. Pilate asked him again, Have you no answer? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further reply, so that Pilate was amazed. Now at the festival he used to release a prisoner for them, anyone for whom they asked. Now a man called Barabbas was in prison with the rebels who had committed murder during the insurrection. So the crowd came and began to ask Pilate to do for them according to his custom. Then he answered them, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that the chief priests had handed him over. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate spoke to them again. Then what do you wish me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted back, Crucify him! Pilate asked them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him! So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers led him into the courtyard of the palace, that is, the governor's headquarters, and they called together the whole cohort. And they clothed him in a purple cloak. And after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him. And they began saluting him, Hail, King of the Jews. They struck his head with a reed, spat on him, and knelt down homage to him. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. They compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. And they brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his clothes among them, casting lots to decide what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with him they crucified two bandits, one on his right 
and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha, you who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests, along with the scribes, were also mocking him among themselves and saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. Let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down from the cross now so that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also taunted him. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, Listen, he is calling for Elijah. And someone ran, filled a sponge of sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two, from top to bottom. Now when the centurion, who stood facing Jesus, saw that in this way he breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was God's son. Then Joseph bought a linen cloth and taking down the body, wrapped it in the linen cloth and laid it in a tomb that had been hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph saw where the body was laid the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. on the promises of God, we pray boldly for the world, all in need, and the church. Each portion of the prayers ends with the words, hear us, O God. You are invited to respond with, your mercy is great. In creation, life springs from death. Redeem your creation, awaiting resurrection. Restore lost habitats and endangered species. Create new possibilities for areas affected by climate change. Grant relief from natural disasters in all the places we think of before you now. And nurture new growth. Hear us, O oh God. Your, Your mercy, mercy is great. Jesus was handed over to the powers of this world. 
in all nations instruct the powerful that they would not exploit their power but maintain justice, sustain soldiers and guide those who command them, that they serve those in greatest need with a measure of kindness and respect. Hear us, O God. Your Your mercy mercy is great. On the cross, Jesus joined all who feel forsaken. Abide with those who are condemned to death. Defend those who are falsely accused. Console and strengthen all who are mocked or bullied. Accompany all who suffer, especially Aiden, Iris, Elsie, Erica and Hank, Sharon, John, Eugenie, Elsie and Erwin, Edwin, Art, Marilyn, Richard, Tristan, Laura, Karen, Maria, Zach, Dawn, Sarah, Sandra, Ava, Mary, Jolanda, Paul, Baby Briar, Abigail, and Brent, Shannon, Linnea, Frida, Anne, and Joel, Andrea, and Dean, along with all those we name in our hearts before you. Grant respite and renewal. We continue to pray for an end to the pandemic. May there be a good distribution of vaccines for those in our communities and around the world. Help us to be patient while we wait. Hear us, O God. Your mercy mercy is great. great. We celebrate life even during this most holy week. So today we remember before you those with birthdays that we know of. Krista, Paige, Mila, Richard, Ruby, Glenn, and Bradley. Bless bless them on their special day and surround them with love. Hear us, O God. Your Your mercy mercy is is great. great. In Jesus, you came among us as a suffering servant. Give your church humility. Redeem your people from pride and the certainty that we always know your will. Heal us and empower us by your word alone. Today, we especially pray for the following people and places of ministry. For the Manitoba Northwestern Ontario Synod. For the Northern Area of our Synod. For retired bishops, pastors, deacons, and other retired church leaders. For Edmonton New Life Chinese and Holy Spirit Lutheran in Edmonton for Luther College, Regina, Saskatchewan, for the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Argentina, for the ministers and people of the United Church of Canada. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. You called followers to tend Jesus' body in death. Sustain hospice workers and funeral directors. Bless this congregation's ministries at time of death those who plan and lead funerals, those who prepare meals, and all who offer support in grief. Hear us, O God. Your Your mercy mercy is is great. great. We entrust ourselves and all our prayers to you, O faithful God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also also with with you. you. If you're at home, I invite you to share a sign of the peace with each other. And if you worship by yourself, we'll wave at you and to each other as well. This is normally the time we would take the offering. I would like to say a word of thanks to everyone who is able to continue to the financial needs of this congregation. Thank you very much. Let us pray. Faithful God, you walk beside us in desert places, and you meet us in our hunger with bread from heaven. Accompany us in this meal that we may pass over from death to life with Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also also with with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We lift lift them them to to the the Lord. Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right to give, give our thanks and praise. Blessed are you, O God of the universe. Your mercy is everlasting, and your faithfulness endures from age to age. Praise to you for creating the heavens and the earth. Praise to you for saving the earth from the waters of the flood. Praise to you for bringing the Israelites safely through the sea. Praise to you for leading your people through the wilderness to the land of milk and honey. Praise to you for the words and deeds of Jesus, your anointed one. Praise to you for the death and resurrection of Christ. Praise to you for your spirit poured out on all nations. And if you wish, you can lift your bread at this time. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Put that down and pick up your cup. Again, after supper, he took the cup gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. With this bread and cup, we remember our Lord's Passover from death to life as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has, has died. died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. O God of resurrection and new life, pour out your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts of bread and wine. Bless this feast. Grace our table with your presence. Come, Come, Holy Holy Spirit. Spirit. Reveal yourself to us in the breaking of the bread. Raise us up as the body of Christ for the world. Breathe new life into us. Send us forth, burning with justice, peace, and love. Come, Come, Holy Holy Spirit. Spirit. With your holy ones of all times and places, with earth and all its creatures, with sun and moon and stars, we praise you, O God, blessed and holy Trinity, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And together we pray. Our Our Father Father in in heaven, heaven, hallowed hallowed be your your name. name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Taste and see that the Lord is good. This is our Lord's table for whoever wishes to come. So now if you're with others in your home, I invite you to commune each other. And if you live by yourself, I say these words for you. The body of Christ given for you. and the blood of Christ shed for you. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. Let us pray. God of steadfast love, at this table you gather your people into one body for the sake of the world. Send us in the power of your spirit 
that our lives bear witness to the love that has made us new in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. You are what God made you to be, created in Christ Jesus for good works, chosen as holy and beloved, freed to serve your neighbor. God bless you, that you may be a blessing. In the name of the life-giving Trinity, amen. amen. And it's time for some announcements. We're glad you've joined us today. You are welcome to join us for our other Holy Week and Easter services. Next is Maundy Thursday. There will be a service available online by 7 p.m. on Thursday this week. It will be a relatively brief communion service with the stripping of the altar. For Good Friday, we are offering, similar, similar to last year, a drive through Stations of the Cross. Come to the church any time between 12 noon and 4 p.m. and drive through our parking lot. You'll be stopping your vehicle at the nine stations. There will be things to see, read, reflect on, and a prayer. Some stations also have audio. You can roll your window down one-third of the way in order to hear. I will be at the last station to offer a blessing. It will be helpful to have masks handy for that. We are offering a drive-in service for Easter. Please arrive between 9.30 and 10 a.m. and you will be ushered to usher to a place to park your car for the service. You need to stay in your vehicle for the entire service, and your windows need to stay up. These are Alberta Health Services regulations. The bathrooms will be available if absolutely necessary. Please also make sure you have a mask with you in case you need to leave your vehicle for this reason. Holy Communion will also be offered, so please have the elements with you, some type of bread or crackers, and wine or juice. Also, on Easter, we will pre-record a service and have that available also by 10 a.m. on Easter Sunday morning. Tammy and I will be on vacation from Easter Monday until council meeting on April the 20th. The Synod of Alberta and the Territories is providing worship for the first Sunday after Easter, which is April the 11th. We'll make sure you get that link, and we will provide links for other services that you can join on the 18th of April. There will be no midweek message again until later in Easter, Later in April, same thing. Uh, Bishop Larry's Easter message will be emailed out to you this Wednesday. So now I invite you to stand as we sing, Go, my children, with my blessing.
Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God.